All right, hey guys, it's Tyler from Reviews of Cool Stuff, and today we are going to review this guy. It's the Geiker Super Slider. It's a toy. I think you'll like it, so let's get started. All right, so getting started is really easy. You just hit the on off button and you hold it for a second. It uses two AA batteries, which are not included. Now you see I've reset it to level one. And if you want to forward to a harder level, you simply click on here and I'll go to number two. You'll notice if I go back twice, it's gonna say five, one, one. So there's 511 total levels. And this is the most difficult, so I want to go forward one so I start back over at level one. Now what it's showing here on the LED screen is how you set up your board. So the yellows are pretty easy, you just figure out where the yellows go. The red is easy. And then the blues, if it's uh, up and down, it's going to show blue there. If it shows green, it's going to be a blue piece, but it's going to go horizontal. Now, before I put those on, you'll notice this little thing on the board, that's how you solve the puzzle, is you have to get the big red block into there and then you solve, and I can show you even without having anything on here. Once I put it in, it shows that I solved it and it goes on to level two. So obviously I didn't solve it, so I'm gonna take that back off and reset back to level one and then set up my board. So I'm gonna put the pieces on just like it shows. For younger kids, simply setting up the game is part of the challenge. And so just making sure that they can replicate what it has oh, in the okay. LED back I below. Okay. You'll notice I don't have any more yellow pieces, but I have these extra three blue pieces. That's because in the harder levels, you're gonna replace two of these yellow pieces with one of the blue ones, and it'll make it more difficult to actually slide it. So now that I have my board set up, all I have to do is figure out how to get this from here to here. So you can move multiple pieces at the same time, but that's all it takes. So I solved that first level and obviously that's pretty easy. And these first several levels are easy, but after each level you do have to reset your board and they are magnetized so they kind of stick, but it's not a strong magnetic strip, which is actually really nice because then you can pull it out and it's pretty easy to do that to get the next board set up. And put it there, all right. So I look like I'm ready for the next level. So now I'm just, again, going to try to figure out how to get that there. Let's just pull these over pretty quick. There we go. As we get to level three, I'm gonna show you some of the modes that you can do. If I wanted to do, here it's a C for challenge mode. So on challenge mode, I'm just gonna hold down C for challenge. Three, two, one, and it's on. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I finished, you notice that green countdown was going, I got a D, so that was, <laughs> in the instruction booklets it tells you your ratings, and it's A, B, C, or D, so I got as close as I could to failure, E is the worst and that's failure. Now if you do it super fast, you get an S for super. Now if I wanna know how to do that faster, here's a cool thing, let's restart, I have to turn it off and on to restart it. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna try level three again. So I'm gonna to have to reset this up. Instead of doing challenge mode, here is L for learner mode and it's gonna show you the most efficient way to do it. So if I hold that down, now I'm on learner mode and it tells me that I wanna move that one first and if I don't know where to move it, I can hit the forward arrow and it shows me to move it there. So step one is that. Then the next step, bring that one down, that one down, 
that one down. And then bring all these across so I can do those. Looks like I'm just bring all those up. And then bring that one up. That one over. That one over. And then down. Bring all those over. So over, over, down. All right, so I can obviously solve it that way, but that wasn't much faster. So I just need to practice and speed up my time. All right, so having played now with the Geiger Super Slider for a few weeks, let me give you my impressions. Uh, first is, this is a great thing to do when you do not have an internet connection or your phone or some other screen. It kind of takes the place of a phone game or a phone app. And they actually even have an app for the Super Slider, so you can play it for free on the app. But I like this because you can take it with you on vacation, for car rides, uh, in remote places, and it can just give you a break from screen. We have certain times of the day where our kids aren't allowed on their phones or on their screens, and we try to take a break, and this gives them something to do. It's also really great for just lazy afternoons when you're at the beach or just sitting around. And so that's where I've enjoyed it so far. We're getting ready to go on a road trip right now. And I'm really excited that the kids will have this in the car, that they can challenge each other and have contests as we drive for several hours. So I like that. Now, as I've done it, I've had a good time with it and my wife has had a good time with it. But I looked at our kids, so our kids range from nine to 17 years old. And the nine-year-old could do it, but it was pretty challenging for her once she got past level 20 or 30. So the first levels were fine, even for smaller children. But, and then uh, on the flip side of that, for the older kids, it was really easy in those early levels. And some of them really liked it really easy because it became just something that you did to pass the time where you're kind of using your brain, but it's relatively easy. But if the kids wanted to be challenged, then they flipped up into the hundreds. Now there are 511 levels, so you're not gonna get bored, you're not gonna get the same level over and over. But if you are bored, then that's when you go into competition mode. Overall, I think it's a great product. If you wanna get it, you can click on the description in the link below. Strike that, reverse it. You can click on the link in the description below, and then that will take you to Amazon so you can get it. So far, we've had a great time with it. You will too. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.